So this may not be my most popular video, but I'm okay with that because I think this is gonna make a huge impact in both the forehand and backhand ground strokes of those who watch this video. Hey, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a simple tip that's gonna help the control and confidence on both sides, forehand and backhand. Here it is. When you are in your ready position, have your elbows out away from your body and allow that to be the way you take your racket back on both your forehand and your one-hander and two-handed backhand. Let me explain. I've got the Topspin Pro here. I'm an affiliate. Check out my affiliate link in the description below and then you can go right along with me here as I demonstrate this. So a, a couple days ago, I'm actually making this video as a response to a very simple but I think really important comment that was made in one of my previous videos and I was talking about the elbows being out and they say, you know, isn't that awkward to have the elbows out in the ready position? Shouldn't you have your elbows in? You know, isn't the ready position more of a state of mind than an actual technique? And, and I completely disagree with that idea that it's just a state of mind. It's not called a starting position and it's not called a waiting position. It's called a ready position. When you are hitting ground strokes, I want you to start with your elbows out away from your body. So when you hit a forehand, right, and the ball's going to your opponent, I want you to set up like this. Notice my elbows are in front of my shoulder and they are out away from my body. Look, when you hit a forehand ground stroke, if I do this from the side, when I hit a forehand ground stroke, I want my back elbow to be up. When my back elbow is up, then my swing can stay circular. Right? You can stay like a Ferris wheel. Circular swing gives me circular spin. It also helps me to close my racket face. You know, I don't want my racket straight up and down in the back before I hit a shot. I want my strings closed, and when my strings are closed, that's what allows my strings to face forward as I'm brushing up the back of the ball. I see so many players, and they turn, and their hand is above their elbow because their elbow is down and the fix would just be to raise the elbow. But because players usually have lazy elbows in their ready positions, then they have a lazy elbow when they turn. So most people, when you watch them, they're like this. If I show you this from the back, see how my elbows are tucked into my body rather than elbows out. I do Zoom lessons. I do about three Zoom lessons every week with students all around the world. This is where they send me videos of their technique, uh, and then we go live on Zoom together and we critique their, their uh, technique, and it's a really, really cool way to improve. But one of the first things I look for if they're hitting forehands and backhands is actually their ready positions and their elbow position. You don't want your elbows tucked in. You want your elbows out away from your body. As I mentioned, this helps keep the swing from going too far back, and it also helps you to close the racket face. When your racket is straight up and down, it will be open when you make contact. So the way to fix that is to have this back elbow up, which allows the racket face to close as the racket's falling, and then you can swing low to high. Let me show you this on the backhand. This is one of those things where players go, are you sure, like, are you sure I should have my elbows out like this? Then they go out and try it and they, they respond back going, I can't believe what a difference this made. And I'm going to show you this in a second, how this is going to help you return to serve as well. But when your elbows are out on your, let's say, two-handed backhand first, and then you turn, it keeps the racket face very vertical. When your elbow is down, then you take your racket back and your racket looks like this. First, the racket will go too far behind you, so your swing can be too large and a very fast ball can make you late. But also then when the racket drops, it's straight up and down. And then when you get to the ball and the racket's wide open, the ball shoots out. Or you've got to roll the racket to try to get it square against the back of the ball and it just doesn't work. So having the elbows out in your ready position allows you to not have to do anything. You're already ready. It's not called a starting position, and it's not called a waiting position. Get your elbows out. And then when you turn, you could take a coin and you could balance it on the edge. You can see my elbow is up. And then when I drop the racket, my racket is closed, allowing me to brush up the back of the ball. It's the exact same thing on a one-handed backhand. You don't want to be playing tennis as a one-hander with your elbows in. Get your elbows out. This elbow is up in case it's a forehand. This elbow is up in case it's a backhand. When you turn on your one-hander and your back elbow is up, 
it allows you to close the racket face, swing up the back of the ball. It's when you start turning like this that all heck breaks loose and you start swinging across. Now I talked about the return of serve. This is one of the easiest ways to start handling fast serves. When your elbows are in against a very fast serve and you take your racket back, just turning the body, all of a sudden the swing is too large, especially if you're late or you're standing too close to the ball and all of a sudden the ball gets on top of you. Watch what happens when I just push my elbow out. Watch my racket position change. See my racket position change? Now when the ball hits my racket, I can actually hit. See when your elbows are in and you take your racket back on your return of serve, your swing is too large. When your elbows are out and then you turn, the swing becomes much shorter and then you can handle pace. The same idea is true on both the two-handed and one-handed backhand. This isn't a sexy topic. This isn't one of those like birthday hat, serve and volley, awesome double strategy videos. But I can tell you this video is going to help just as many people who actually use this information and apply it to their game as any of those videos. When you're playing, get your elbows away from your body. Let me, uh, I've, I've actually got a hopper of balls here just to kind of give it the idea. If I grab two like little kid balls and I put them under my armpits, basically raise your armpits until the balls fall out. <laughs> get your elbows out so much that the balls wouldn't stay in your armpits. And then that's how you're going to be waiting when you're playing. Is it comfortable? Yes, after you get used to it. But you won't care how uncomfortable it is when you're turning and all of a sudden your elbow is in perfect position for both the forehand and backhand ground stroke. Start playing with your elbows out in the ready position and let that affect the way you take the racket back on both sides and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.